Hey adventurers, I'm Andrew from Our National Adventure, and today we've got something extremely special for you all. Not only are we gonna take you underneath the hood of our 2017 Ram 3500 Dually to show you how to change the oil and oil filter by yourself to save some money, but we're also gonna take you around the United States to show you some of the best drives that we've been on in this amazing truck. So let's go ahead and jack this truck on up and get underneath it and show you how to do this. One of the preventative things that you're gonna to need to do anytime you work on your truck is get wheel chocks to make sure that your truck is totally secure and it's not gonna roll down the hill or wherever or even onto you when you're working underneath it. Okay, so now that we've got the chuck secure underneath the rear of the truck, why don't you guys take a quick peek at a, one of our favorite drives through Needles Highway in South Dakota in Custer State Park while I head into the garage and find our four ton jack. Okay, so I've got the jack underneath the truck right now and I'm gonna jack this thing up. We found a solid, secure place underneath the frame, something really solid to use to jack the truck up. So once you got the truck jacked up, what you need to do is get these jack stands. These are six ton jack stands. I've got one six ton jack stand on each side of the front. That's a little bit overkill, but hey, I just want security and, and knowing that I'll be the most safe that I can be while getting underneath the front of this heavy truck. What you need to do with the jack stand is place it as close to the place that you jack the truck up as possible. Make sure that there's enough height uh, jacked up for clearance to get this thing even underneath and then the cool thing about this is that you can raise it and you can lower it at the same time just to make sure that it's got the right height for you to still get underneath there all right that looks that looks perfect So one of the last things that you need to do before you start doing the oil change is undo the diesel oil cap. The diesel engine oil cap is right here in the middle underneath the hood. So you just gotta twist it counterclockwise, get it up and just place it somewhere off to the side. Okay, so before we get underneath and open this thing up, let's take a look at another one of our favorite drives.
Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that you're gonna need to get underneath and get this job done. First thing, to get the area open where you're gonna wanna start having your engine oil drain down from, you're gonna need a socket wrench. You don't need any of the other components to this wrench. You just need this portion, this square part right here will fit right up and in easily, as I'll show you here. And you can untwist it counterclockwise and let everything drip right down into your drain pan. Now for this size of a truck, this is a 6.7 liter diesel engine, five gallon drain pans. So you need to have this underneath beforehand because the moment that that nut comes off, it's all gonna start spewing down right into this pan. And one of these makes it really easy to hold everything to keep it from dripping all over the place, all over the concrete ground or wherever you're doing this. And also afterwards, you can unscrew this cap here when it's all done. Drain the engine oil into a recyclable bin. Many auto stores actually provide the capabilities for you to go there and to either bring it in this container. I actually prefer to bring them in the engine oil containers that we are dumping the new engine oil out of just putting the old oil into those and bringing those over to the stores and dumping those out into their recyclable uh, receptacles so while i get underneath here to open things up here's another look at one of our favorite drives from 2019. So we're having a police escort take us over the top of the George Washington Bridge. Once you've drained all of the old engine oil and before you go ahead and put in the new engine oil, you lower your vehicle and then you're going to put in two new oil filters. Now you've got the one regular fuel filter and the second diesel engine oil filter. You need to put in both and I'm going to show you right here where to put them on each side of the truck. So first we're going to go ahead and get in here and replace the diesel engine oil filter. So you can see that we're on the passenger side here. And if you reach your left arm, or as I'm going to do, right inside in there, that is where you can see the original diesel engine oil filter in there. That's going to be twisted off counterclockwise. And then we've got this new stock part here from Mopar. I ordered this online. You can order the set of oil filters online for about $100, whereas they charge several hundred dollars at the store if you're gonna buy them there and have them put them in themselves. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys where the location of the other oil filter is inside here on the driver's side now, just to, if you're facing the truck, it's on the right side of the engine, just a little bit towards the back. You reach in here, you need a stool to get up and reach over, and it's right down there inside. You can screw off the cap there, take out the old oil filter, and just put the new one in with a new ring, lube up the ring a little bit with some engine oil, screw the cap back on, and you should be ready to go. Before I put the last gallon in, let's go ahead and take a look at one of our other favorite drives from 2019.
perfect. Let's close this thing up and get the engine running to see how it feels. All right, let's get inside here and turn this truck on and see how she sounds. All right, so everything sounds great. Thank you for allowing us to take you on a drive down memory lane through all these great destinations and allowing for me to show you how to do your own oil change on your diesel engine truck. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, and if you wanna see more content from us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I'm Andrew from Our National Adventure. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you down the road.